lighting in here blows. <laughs> What's going on, BC? Uh, Rob here to do a uh, vinyl update for the third time. Um, yesterday I had an issue with this phone. For some reason it's not formatting the video like it should. Uh, thought I had to figure it out. Did a video today. Battery ran out, which was half full. And when I charge it back up and turn it on, I had the same corrupt problem again. So I'm going to try this again because if it doesn't work this time, you may see this phone do weird things like you'll see sky, wall, pieces flying all over the place. Just telling you. You hear me phone? All right, guys. I'm gonna do this real quick. I got four new, four new vinyl in the last couple of days. Uh, we'll go with the first one, and that's Asta's uh, fourth album, Avenger. This is on uh, Pure Steel Records, and it is 470 out of 525. Um, there is the uh, gatefold. Uh, Lyrics, kind of read them. Uh, this is the band with George Carl. George Carl is, you guys have been hearing a lot about the Banshee album. Uh, uh, Mine's late lately around here, around the BC, because, you know, Scott put it out on his label. Uh, first time on the vinyl, which I love, so. Uh, but this is the same singer. Uh, this is similar to that, maybe a tiny bit heavier at times. Very much power metal out of uh, Dallas, Fort Worth area, kind of same as Banshee, where they're from, so, uh, great album, great band, again, more of that pure heavy metal sound. Right. Next album I got from Amazon, Amazon, I, I don't know what's going on, but lately, a lot of the stuff on my want list comes up, and it's, you know, a half of what it's usually been gone for. And this is another one of those albums that did, and I picked it up real quick. It was like $10 off. It usually runs about $25. This was under $14, so I jumped on it. And that's the uh, Dark Element. That's with uh, Annette, uh, I always say her name wrong, Alzan and Yanni. I'm not even going to attempt it. Uh, but basically, it is the ex singer of Nightwish. I never thought she really fit well into Nightwish. Um, it wasn't terrible, it just wasn't Night Wishes. But this album is, is not like Night Wish in that sense. This has got a lot more symphonic, more in the uh, Within Temptation, Evidence kind of feel, a little, little heavier. But basically it's her, and the backing band is essentially um, Kane's Offering, if you guys know that band. That's essentially what the, her whole backing band is. Like a weird crease in the back of the all like across the album. You guys see that? Like it was cut or almost cut open. Yeah. Oh, well. uh, did I show you Yeah, it's got lyrics. Barely legible, but it's got lyrics. And I think it's just on black vinyl, so I'll just show you the, the centering. And I filmed this on my front facing camera, which sucks basically, but I'm trying to watch to see if this cuts out on me again. So there's that album. So, we'll go with this one here. Alright, and the next album. Um, this band I recently discovered. Um, um, actually, I discovered it, but there's a reason I discovered it. Uh, you guys know L, E, L from uh, uh, Dan Power's cousin, I think it is. Um, well, him and I talk on, on Facebook Messenger a bit about bands that we, we know. Uh, he asks me about bands all the time, and most of them I do know. Uh, but this one he came out me with, and I checked them out, and I instantly fell in love with them. I, I can't believe they're like a new band. It's from 2018. They're from Indiana, 
at, yeah, Indiana. And that band is called Sacred Leather. Uh, the album's called Ultimate Force. This is pure heavy metal, uh, new wave with a higher, you know, a, a range vocalist that can sing high. Um, very early um, Maiden sound, but driving, really good music. I, I would recommend this to anybody. It's a metal, you like metal, you'll love this band. Um, there's the back. I know this, the vinyl's kind of limited because I actually almost bought the CD because I didn't see anything about vinyl and then I did a little search on it and found out it was on vinyl, so of course I went to the vinyl. Uh, lyric side, now remember guys, 2018. There's the band. <laughs> That looks like an old late 70s, early 80s metal, uh, heavy metal, new wave band. Um, I think you guys will love these guys. Um, I'm going to put a link to one of their songs in my description below. And this is the. Uh, that's on an independent label. It's on. I'll tell you in a minute. Same on the other side. It is on like Cruise. Cruz del Sur uh, label. I don't know where that's from. I'm assuming it's their uh, indie label of their own. Yeah, it's yeah, it's their own uh, label. The drummer name is Jailhouse. <laughs> but excellent, excellent band. You guys, this will, this will. I mean, I've listened to quite a few of it, quite a bit of it on. Uh, YouTube and their band camp. Um, so you will, you guys will love this. I'm serious. You know, I, I say a lot of things are great, but this is a, this is a great album for 2018. So if you get a chance to pick it up, pick it up. I would. Um, as I said, I'm going to post a couple links. Um, if you guys, somebody you really like it, I got a download code somebody can have. But please, if you, if you don't really like it, don't take the code just to take it. Uh, I don't mind giving it out to people, but listen to it. If you like it a lot, then I'll send it to you. Um, so there's that. And lastly, uh, I got this album. I ordered this album and I got it in three days with media mail. Um, and it's, it's autographed. And I, I've never had an album come that fast after ordering it ever. I mean, well, from a band, I should say. Amazon obviously gets here in two days. Um, but this band, and this is Autograph, and this band is, I know we use the word underrated quite a bit when we talk about our favorite, you know, our favorite stuff and, and stuff like that in music. Um, I personally think this is truly a very underrated band. They've uh, been around since the early 80s, 83, 84, um, and they're still kicking. This album's brand new. Uh, they get a lot of bullshit uh, people thinking that they're Christian metal and they're not. Which again, I say it a lot, should not matter. Because you listen to devil music, that's okay, right? Even if you're not a Satanist. So I don't get the why it's okay to listen to one but not the other. Some people throw me off with that. Uh, anyway, the band is called Mass. And this is their new album. Uh, when new, when new worlds, Two Worlds Collide? When Two Worlds Collide really cool uh, album art. Um, they ought to do the cover. I generally do not like my vinyl covers autographed. Um, I like I like the artwork too much, but in this case, this is this is one of my favorite, you know, second tier bands. Um, I think they got job by the label and they got job by people mistaking them for being Christian metal. Uh, but great, great band. I don't think they put out a bad album at all. They had kind of different sound changes throughout the career. They had the hard rock, gritty sound, you know, in the beginning, same vocalist throughout. Um, pretty much the same band throughout, I think. Um, then they hit that Voices in the Night, their second full length album, which was very, which uh, Michael Sweet of Striper produced, so that's where a lot of the Christian metal thinking comes from. Uh, it has a very good Striper sound on that, so that was a really kick-ass album. And albums like Sea of Black and Fighter, which is an older album, uh, and they're just great albums. They're just great, heavy, hair metal albums. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll show you the back. And these are only 500 pressed. 
I didn't even know escape music is even pressing vinyl, so that, that's why I didn't even think there was a vinyl pressing of this. Um, I've seen it on Amazon, it's really expensive, it's like $24, and, and so I'm like, I'm not paying $24 for a freaking CD. So I decided to go to their website thinking maybe they have, um, you know, the CDs cheap through them. And the first thing that popped up was the, the vinyl for this. I'm like, oh, well, hell, that solved the problem real quick. Uh, there's the lyrics. There's the band today. Uh, these guys are out of Boston, Massachusetts. Just a phenomenal band. And it is on a colored vinyl. It is very, very purple vinyl. I'm not sure the front facing camera is going to really show the color of this, but. So, really happy to have this. Uh, I can almost guarantee this will make my top of 18 as well. Um, there's a lot of bands putting out albums at the end of 18 that I, was, I didn't, wasn't, didn't know it was coming out or wasn't sure if it was 18 or 19. Uh, so, that's one of them. And, and, guys, seriously, go back. I'm going to leave a couple songs in, in my description. Check them out. Don't think Christian Metal because they're not. Again, it shouldn't matter. Um, I would list all those bands actually because they all deserve to be heard. And I think, well, three of the four I know most of you guys will love. A lot of you guys won't like the, the symphonic metal stuff, but that's fine. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here. Um, hoping this works this time. Uh, if this works, I'm going to try to do a couple contest videos I've been trying to do as well. Uh, fucking technology is great, but it also sucks balls. Y'all have a good day. We'll catch up real soon.